she's so confident with people not doing anything. Some actors need to be helped into that. It's like if you're ever trying to tell the story too much, it's like chill, you don't need to do that. It's gonna find itself. It'll just like, whatever's worth it will rise. You know, as an actor, you, you're, it's your job to kind of tell a story sometimes. And in this case, she just doesn't work like that. That's why her films are so drifty and natural and, and, and alive. It's uh, three different stories that are seamlessly intersected because they're completely unrelated. Um, I think that she found a couple of through lines that she's spoken about, one of which somewhat involves a character or two characters within each that are fixated on something that they can't have. I play a, a young lawyer who's just distracted and kind of uh, having an experience with another young woman. This girl like comes to a class of mine and we're having these conversations and uh, it sort of speaks to the fact that you can be having an exchange with someone and you could think that you're sharing something, you could think that you're with someone, that you're not alone, but you're just not having the same conversation, you're not having the same exchange, it's not a together experience, it's like just misconnections. And I know that feeling of thinking that you're getting something across to someone or you're like kind of having an experience with someone and you're just wrong. You come to find out that it's like, they didn't even hear what I said or, <clears throat> you know, I projected everything that I was feeling onto them and I had this whole experience and it didn't even exist. And um, I play somebody who's just really unaware of another person and uh, quite lonely herself and um, it was just a beautiful environment to, to be quiet and a little bit meditative and um, I love her movies. I think that she focuses on things that uh, people don't focus on in film. She looks at the stuff in between the moments that people usually focus on. She doesn't uh, fabricate anything. It's all about finding and discovering and letting things live and breathe and she's not trying to entertain anyone. She's so comfortable sitting and watching nothing happen that ultimately something seeps through and it's not something that can be controlled and it's not something that you could ever plan and I, I love I love her movies. People always ask me if I prefer to do bigger or smaller movies or if there's some dream part. It's such a crazy thing to commit to. Uh, the, the sense of compulsion that I need to get in order to accept the responsibility of like going to pretend like I'm someone else in a movie that someone's spending a lot of money on and it, like everyone is so completely passionately invested. It is not a choice. It's like it's something I, I'll read something and I just go I I just know, I just know that I can do that. I feel like if I knew the kind of stories I would want to tell, I would be like writing and directing them. And uh, I want to, I'm going to, man. Um, but I navigate really instinctually. Um, like, uh, I read everything. And there's shit. And there's great stuff.